This is Mina Barsoom with CDocs.com and welcome to the tip of the day. Today I'd like to talk about an, another product or another option we have for creating implant restorations with our CEREC and that's a product called True Abutment. Now in previous tips of the day I've talked about the Densplicerona tie base and that's a great option uh, when you're restoring implants because it gives you the ability to use your CEREC to design and manufacture the restoration. Now the, the one issue we have with the Densplicerona tie base is it's limited to just one size. So it's a one millimeter gingival height. Now the advantage of having True abutment is it gives us multiple gingival heights. Now what does that mean? So when we look at this image on the screen you can see this is a one millimeter gingival height tie base and in most cases this will probably work okay but we sometimes end up with a little bit of space considerations that we have to manage between the, the crestal level of the bone and the platform of the tie base. So the advantage of true abutment is we have three additional sizes to that one millimeter. We have a GH 1.8 or what they call GH2, which is a 1.8 millimeter gingival height. And you can see it's elevated that platform a little bit further away from the uh, top of the implant, giving you a little bit more room to place an implant, maybe slightly subcrestally. Same thing, you can go up all the way to a gingival height three and even a gingival height four. So four millimeter gingival height. Now, in the anteriors, we really see a lot of advantage to this because typically we're placing our implants in the anterior slightly subcrestally. As you can see here on this lateral, it's placed about two millimeters or so below the gingiva. Now I can transition to that gingival height two or three millimeter uh, true abutment and still be able to restore the case with my CEREC, moving that restorative platform away from the top of the implant. So how does this work from a uh, software perspective? If you look at this uh, image here, you can see all the different sizes of uh, true abutment tie bases. Now they make these for all the different implant manufacturers from Astra to Strawman to Nobel to any system that you wanna use. And they come in, like I mentioned, different gingival heights. Now, how do we image this in the software? Typically, I like to scan uh, scan posts, and that's what I've been typically used to doing. Now, having different gingival heights means we're going to need different height scan posts. So TrueButtman also has a kit that comes with different height scan posts to correspond to the, to the specific gingival height tie base that you want to use. So you can see here all the way from GH1 all the way to GH4, and they put it in a very nice kit so that it corresponds to the specific tie base that you want to use. So these kits are nice because they come with everything you're going to need. It, it'll have all four different scan posts in it, and it even comes with a reusable scan body. So these can be autoclaved. It's a nice titanium uh, enclosure. You autoclave the kit, and then you can reuse it from patient to patient. So it makes it really simple to be able to image a scan post um, if you prefer to do it that way. Now, the other option is to image the tie base itself. You'll just have to insert whichever uh, true abutment tie base you're going to use, image that in the mouth, and then make sure you select that in your software. So either option works, just make sure you choose the corresponding uh, uh, part that's gonna work with that specific gingival height. So hopefully this was a good overview of the true abutment system. It's a nice option or alternative if you need different gingival heights for different placements of the implants. Hopefully this was helpful. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.